Let's start at the beginning. That's Carl. Now, the one thing that everyone agreed on was that Carl was slightly unusual. Stupid bastard. Make a decision. You're hopeless, Carl. Hopeless. When are you going to grow up? He would have been a better man if he'd finished university. But the one person who never put him down was Sophie. I'm Sophie. Carl. So it was obvious when Carl and Sophie got together... We all thought you were a puff. ...it had to be something special. What are you doing? Oh, nothing much, just sitting around, thinking about you. Like all true romantics, they thought the world belonged to them. Not everyone agreed. How old is she? She's beautiful, really beautiful. She's exceedingly common, I can imagine. How old is she? She likes me. Why don't you tell her the truth just for once? How old is she, Carl? I'm trying to think of it not so much as losing a daughter, but more like... Gaining a son. But something rather magical had happened to Carl. As this movie so clearly proves. How come I didn't meet you years ago? I don't know. Probably because I was still in school. <laughs> <laughs> there is love. You've met me now, haven't you? <laughs> Laughter. This is how you do it. And life. Before, after, and during, death in Brunswick. I don't want to live like this anymore. Look at me. When it all hits the fan, what's happened to you? Poor old Carl just forgets to duck. I fell over. Sam Neill, Zoe Caridis, and John Clark. An award-winning performance, probably. Hi. Was that you? Huh? Must have been me. Sorry. Death in Brunswick. <laughs>